Guys, welcome back after that short advert break. Let us now look at a provincial map. So looking at our map, right, already I can see this Eastern Cape. So this is the province of the Eastern Cape. So the instruction here says, carefully study the provincial map of the Eastern Cape to answer the question that follow. Now, let me quickly get familiar with what is happening right on my given map. So first of all, I can see here through north is facing upwards as it is on most of our maps. I can also see there's the Indian Ocean, so meaning there's the sea there. Then we have what we see an aeroplane there, so there's an airport. We also have some national parks, as you can see, and then some routes indicated national routes and well as our regional roads as well. Okay, just in a nutshell, that is what my map is about. Let's look at our first question. So question number one says, give the grid reference, right, of St. Francis Bay. So I need to find St. Francis Bay and then I must indicate what that grid reference is. So bay meaning it will be here close to the sea. So therefore I will go and I look, okay, here is St. Francis Bay. Guys, are we clear? So what is the grid reference of St. Francis Bay? So if I do this, right, we can see that will be C. I look now numerically. So that will be, sorry, I made a mistake there, not C3, ach four, but C3. Guys, are we clear? So the grid reference of St. Francis Bay is C3. All right, let us look at the next question. Question number two, right here at the bottom of the screen says, determine the shortest distance in millimeters on the map between Himansdorp and Jeffreys Bay. Right, so we need to find the two places, right? And it says in millimeters, the shortest distance. So what does it mean? It simply means that we have to measure. Now I would like to indicate, remember with paper two, maps and plans form part of paper two. So make sure on the day of a test when we write on this section or when it's exam time, paper two, you go, you take your ruler with you. Most probably, we'll expect of you to measure. All right, so let's find the two places here. So here I can see Imansdorp, and just to the right-hand side of it is Jeffreys Bay. Are we clear? So basically, we need to measure from this point to that point, right? And best practice always is to start with your zero on the ruler in the middle of the center of that specific dot. Right, so please measure your answer. So when I measured the, two, the distance between these two points on the map here, I got an answer of eight millimeters. Right, very specific, it must be in millimeters. So therefore the answer here, eight millimeters. All right, let us now move on to question number three. In question number three, we are saying determine the general direction of the Edo Elephant National Park from the Tichikama National Park. Right, so let's quickly locate the two places. Right, so if I look at my map, I see here is the Edo Elephant National Park. And it's nicely indicated if you look carefully with an elephant there, all right? What else are we looking at? The second national park is your Tichikama National Park. Right, so looking at our map, we'll find the Tichikama National Park right here, okay? So let's look at it again. Determine the general direction of the Edo Elephant National Park from, can we see the starting point is here, the Titicama National Park. So meaning from here to here, what is the general direction? Okay, so we know we are moving upwards, so that will be first of all north, and then to our right hand side, so that will be east. All right, so it is northeast of the Titicama National Park. All right, guys, let's look at our last question. Question number four says, write down the names of the routes, right, that one can use to travel from Utenaik to State Level. Okay, write down the names, not how many, the names of the routes that, can, that one can use to travel from Utenaik to State Level. Again, let's find the two places. All right, so if I look at my map, here I can see Utenaik, 
and now I'm looking for State Level, that's the other town that we are referring to, and here we have State Level. Okay, so what are the names, right, of the routes that we can use? So looking at this from Utenake, I can travel on the R75 all the way joining the R329. Okay, so that's the two routes that I can follow to travel from Utenate to state level via the R75 and then I connect with the R329. Okay, guys, I hope that's clear to all of you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hope you found this lesson interesting and also hope to see you next time. Remember to work every day. Stay safe. Goodbye.